Hello everyone, welcome to my brand new Monday video. Today's project is going to be about this cute mini easel card using the Stampin' Up! Beautiful Butterflies die and also some designer paper from Stampin' Up! called Sweet Sorbet, so stay tuned. Okay, so to get started, you're going to need your Big Shot, of course. Here I'm just taking my plates and adding my Beautiful Butterfly die from Stampin' Up! And so then um, you're going to want to take a piece of cardstock. Here I'm taking the Crisp Cantaloupe cardstock, which is our new uh, in colors for 2014-2015. And so here I'm just going to show you how much space you should leave when, you're, when you die cut the butterfly. Only because if you um, don't leave the space, you're going to cut all the way through. And you're not going to be able to get that attached card, which you'll need to create that easel card. So here I'm just showing you that much space you should be leaving and again that piece of cardstock measures three and a quarter by three and a quarter so here I'm just taking that piece of cardstock which measures three and a quarters by three and a quarters and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm trying to place that and then I'm gonna put my plate on top and run it through the big shot and so remember to make sure you leave that space otherwise your your cards not going to be attached okay so I'm running it through the big shot And so now that I'm done running it through, I'm going to show you how it comes apart after you leave that space. So if you see there, I'm taking those uh, negatives, if you will, and there's your card all attached. So that's what you'll need to create that easel card. Okay, so now that your butterfly is all die cut and put together, so next what you want to do is fold from that end to that end. And you're going to want to fold that inwards because that's what's going to create the um, the easel card to when you attach the other butterflies. So next you want to take your bone folder just to make a nice clean crisp fold like so. And so that, that's the start basically to our easel card. So let's move on. So here I just went on ahead and die cut two butterflies ahead of time because I'm going to attach those together for my easel card. Okay, so here I'm just taking my butterfly, which is in this Sweet Sorbet designer paper, which is free, by the way, with a $50 Stampin' Up! order through me through the Celebration Catalog. All details over at my blog. And so here I attach the butterfly to the crisp cantaloupe, and I'm going to go ahead and attach it to that part. Make sure you add some adhesive there, not to the back. And so just making sure it's going to align properly. And so adding the adhesive there to attach my butterfly. And so just make sure that the bottom part al aligns properly. So it looks nice and clean once it's attached. Okay, so there we go. It's attached. This card is great, by the way, to make for bridal showers, even weddings. I think it's a great easel card. And it folds nicely so you can go ahead and mail it to anyone that you would like. So here I took my die and cut a butterfly and used this simple print embossing folder which is retired but I just thought it was so pretty to emboss the butterfly in and thought I'd use it. But of course you can use any embossing folder that you might have um, on hand. And here I'm just taking some mini glue dots to adhere my butterfly on top there. And it looks like it was an on correctly or on properly and I just tried to realign it. And so there we go pretty right so here I'm just taking my tiny flower punch and I'm gonna go ahead and punch one and add one of our rhinestones with my paper piercer there makes it easier to grab and adhere it to the center and I'm adding a glue dot to adhere to the center of my butterfly like you see there so here I'm just punching another white flower to add to the easel card to hold it in place so here I'm just attaching the tiny flower to the bottom so here I'm just taking my itty bitty banner stamp set along with my die and I'm stamping my thank you sentiment and the banner there and I went on ahead and die cut it ahead of time to save some time and I'm just adding a glue dot to adhere that to the center and there we go. Pretty right? What do you guys think? Do you guys like it? Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to visit my blog at www.pinkblingcrafter.blogspot.com for all products and details on this project along with the description uh, bar down below. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video for future videos. Thank you.